Welcome back to Papa Z's Bees. Today we're going to do an inspection we, we on the corner hive. It, it was so heavy with honey till, until recently when we did the, the harvest, which I'll put a link to that down in the in the video description. Uh, that uh, with with that extra all that weight in the the flow super just really made it hard to do uh, you know an inspection. We have to lift everything off. So now that that weight's gone, we're going to go ahead and go in and do an inspection, and then also do a uh, a mite check. So here we go. Okay, to do a full inspection, we've got to take everything down so we can inspect down here, which is where the, the brood lives. So we'll start taking it apart. Let me give them some smoke. So we'll take this is this is called the inner cover. It's a lot of propolis. The propolis is the kind of like the glue of the bee world. It's what they stick uh, things together with. It's what they uh, fill up cracks. And you can see the bees crawling all over the this. So I'm gonna give them some more smoke. The smoke kind of helps them calm down a little bit, helps them move down into the lower regions. I'm gonna take this little cover off here, makes a good handle. This is where it becomes difficult because that you saw how difficult it was to get the the uh, the inner cover off. It's much more difficult to get the boxes off. And this is still pretty heavy. Goodness gracious! So they must be putting some more honey up there. This is the burr comb, and you can see the bees lapping up the honey. Uh, burr comb is just comb they make between uh, pieces and uh, between boxes, like between the, this is the top of the frame, and of course the floor frames are above it. So between the bottom of the floor frame and this, they'll make this burr comb. And normally they'll put things like drone brood in it. But here, they're just putting honey in it. So I'm gonna smoke them down, try to get them to go down. And if you watched before, this box is their storehouse or their their winter stores. So we don't uh, harvest anything from from this box, although it should be full. Hopefully, it's full. I'm gonna leave this out and let them clean it up. Now this box will be exceptionally heavy. Okay, so now we have to move this box off. Oh, this is heavy goodness gracious so we know it's full because it's so heavy Okay, so we'll just start taking some frames out here. Okay, some nice brood there.
the larvae's down in there and some honey. Got a little bit of a sting, so I'm gonna smoke it so they don't smell it. What you normally do when you do a mic check is uh, is take bees from the from a brood frame which is this is a brood frame at this point so we'll shake them down in here so and if the ones that fly out are the foragers foragers so they don't they're not what we want we want to check the, the nurse bees so we Nice brood, really nice brood pattern there. So we'll go ahead and put this thing back together because we've seen what we want to see. We've got good brood, uh, good larvae, what we do here. You can see all the bees down in here. So what we'll do is we'll shake them all down. And these are gonna all be nurse bees, so we need to get about a half a cup Put them in the, the, the tester. And then we kind of lock them in place there. Then we'll, we'll shake them around in that and let it set and then we'll shake them some more. So I'm gonna get these bees back inside. Uh, see lots of drones, which is kind of unusual with the kind of time of year we have right now. if I can get them down because I don't want to squash any more than I have to. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll put the store box on top and then kind of just scoot it across. So now we'll put the, the flow super back on. It's really heavy. I'm really surprised. We talk about this a little bit. So, so what this powdered sugar does, you roll them on. I should have not put the top on until I got this done. And you're gonna have to wait a couple of minutes. Kind of roll it, and they call it a sugar roll because of this. You roll the bees. And honey, now this does not kill the bees. Uh, there's an alcohol wash and a Dawn wash, which is a new, newer thing that um, actually kills the bees, but also kills the mites. What this does, this powdered sugar roll, it uh, causes the mites to get this uh, they don't they don't like being on there so they get, they fall off and then also the bees tend to clean each other as well so you go a couple minutes on this because that ought to be just about right now you take all the powdered sugar out
and then the bees that are in here are alive so you, you don't kill any bees which is what I like you take this top back off and you just dump the bees right there and they'll crawl back down inside and then this cover goes back on And then again, they'll, they'll clean each other off, get that powdered sugar off. And then uh, what we'll do now is we'll take what's in that yellow container and we'll uh, wash the, the um, powdered sugar away and whatever's left will either be detritus or mites or something like that. Okay, this is the result after running water over the powdered sugar. Uh, there's a lot of mites. There's about uh, 24, which means there's about 6% uh, mites. So, gonna have to treat. Not good news. Mm -hmm.